Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to another jewelry creating tutorial. And today we are going to be creating computer keypads, ear studs. And for that, we are going to need epoxy glue. We're going to need pliers. We're going to need a flat screwdriver. And of course, we're going to need a keyboard. And most importantly, we're going to need earring studs and stoppers. So on that note, I will have to mention that when you're going to buy earring studs and stoppers, insist on nickel-free earring studs and stoppers so that they don't react with your ears or with your customer's earlobes. So in this case, I'm using brass studs and they come also with brass stoppers. So brass does not react to your skin and they are the best. So to start with, we are going to pluck off our preferred keypads. So for that, in this case, I have opened up the keypad. So to remove the, the pieces that we need, we are going just to press them at the back. And I'm going to press the other one. You are going to need to remove the back end of the protruding plastic so that the ear stud will re rest uh, comfortably. So to do that, you're going to use your flat nose pliers, place it right at the, at the back. Then we are going to press this, that plastic and break it off like that. Then you're going to press it again. And then you can do it again uh, just up to the time that you have completely cleared the plastic pieces at the back. And so for this next step, we are going to be attaching our ear, ear studs on the back side of our computer keypads. And to do that, just make sure that you are attaching your ear stud right at the top part of the keypad like that don't attach it at the center this is a mistake that i used to make before but for it to be comfortable on the ear just attach it at the top part so that the the stud will appear to be dangling from the earlobe so for that to happen we'll have to process our resin which will act as, as our glue and in this case, in this type of resin, you mix it one is to one ratio. So you mix an equal part of hardener. And in this case, I'm only going to use a little since we are only making one pair of earrings. And then I'm going to mix in the resin of the same portion of hardener. So once you've done that, you're going to make sure that you've mixed it equally so that the hardener and the resin will mix perfectly in the right consistency. Then also keeping in mind that this type of epoxy resin really dries up fast. Like you can see, this one has a, 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 a drying time of 4 minutes. So you will have to work really fast. So once you've mixed your resin, just turn over your pieces, ensuring that they are on the right side. And then you're going to scoop enough, enough resin. And then you're going to wipe it on the stud, making sure that you have as much as you can get. Okay. And then now we are going to place it right at the top as we agreed like that give it a gentle press then we are going to do it on the other side remember apply as much resin as you can and then we are going to place it on the other keypad give it a gentle press and then now we are going to leave that for one hour so that it heals completely. 
so there we have it i hope you enjoyed this and i hope that you will go on and create your own computer keypads either for yourself or to or to sell to a client and these pieces are available check in the description down below for the details of the prices and how you can get them and also for the material that i've used if you've not subscribed consider subscribing down below for great content and hit the bell icon thank you so much until next time